Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is a request. I am a Carpenters fan, and so I, of course, know this track. The request came because on the front cover of my book it says, Scott Weiland liked the Carpenters. And it's true. Scott did. He was a big Carpenters fan. And the truth is, how could you not be? So, let's jump this together. We've only just begun. I have not heard of a Tori Holub or James Wilkes before. So uh, we'll check these two out and see what they got going. Hopefully it's a really good cover. Let's do this. Just begun to live white lace and promises. I guess for luck, and we're on our way. signs along the way Talking it over just the two of us Working together day to day Together And when the evening comes We smile So much of love We'll find a place where there's room to grow And yes, we've just begun Sharing horizons that are new to us Watching the signs along the way Together, together, and when the evening comes, we smile. So much of life ahead, we'll find a place where there's room. We've just begun So I think I'm going to surprise you guys a bit here Or maybe if you watched my reaction closely Maybe I won't But not my thing and she sounded so good, so why? why? Why could you not like it? What's the point of covering a song exactly the same as the original? Why would I not listen to Karen Carpenter and listen to you? I can just as simply push the Carpenters as push you. So why would I not listen to them? If I was doing a film and I wanted to skirt around some of the licensing issues, because as it said here, it wasn't written by the Carpenters, I could have her, nobody be the wiser, and I pay a lot less money. 
So I thought about that. I used to work in film a bit. Um, I did like the rawness of the clarinet. If you listen to the recorded version from the Carpenters, it doesn't have that really nice air sound that I like. I poorly played clarinet in junior high school. <laughs> Very poorly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just not my thing. I don't think she really added anything to the track. It's just a very, very good cover. If I was there in person, we were at a wine bar or something, she was singing, it'd be impressive. Like, man, she sure does sound like Karen Carpenter. But on a forum like this, it's just nothing special to me. You know, put your own thumbprint on and do something different. So did she do a fantastic job? Yeah. But did it really do anything for me? Sorry, no. <laughs> Anyway, I appreciate all of you. I look forward to seeing you on the next one, and thank you. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.